Hello everyone and welcome back to a very windy Rockingham where today we've got a mini John Cooper Works to go up against the stopwatch. Now we love minis at Cinch and this one just so happens to be the fastest one you can get with three pedals. Let's hit the track. is the fastest way to drive a Mini with a manual gearbox. Yes, the GP is faster, more powerful, and it's got more trinkets, but you have to use flappy paddles on that car. This has a manual gearbox with three pedals. And if you've been watching our other fast lap videos, you'll know I love a manual gearbox and I love hot hatches. So I'm in my element, I think. This Mini JCW, <laughs> aside from trying to throw me off the circuit, uses BMWs turbocharged four-cylinder, two-litre engine, which means it's got 231 horsepower and it's mated to a six-speed manual gearbox, as I said earlier, and it's rather lovely, actually. It's a really nice gearbox to use. It feels nice and slick through the gate. It's got a BMW feel to it, and that's a good thing. And then, obviously, that engine as well, 231 horsepower, but it produces peak torque as well from under 2,000 revs, so it's got great muscle low down. And it means, actually, on circuit, you've got a lot of muscle to manage from not many revs, as I'm finding out already. <laughs> this car now, as a JCW, comes equipped with a set of Pirelli P0 tires. Now, I'm obsessed with tires when it comes to track driving because tires have a hard time on circuit. You can probably hear them screaming and complain as I speak. P0s, they're not the most extreme tyre when it comes to the track stuff. They're a great road tyre, really good all-rounders. But the cars we've had on circuit so far, they've been running on some pretty extreme Michelin, so it's going to be interesting to see how these tyres compare. And obviously this car as well, it's not the quickest out of the box. It's just over six seconds to 62 miles per hour. Woo! Lots of torque uh, to manage as I'm finding out here. It doesn't get a limited slip differential like the GP does that sits above it. So it doesn't have all of the tricks that some of the cars it's gonna face have had. Namely that Fiesta ST tuned by Mountain, which does have more power. But today, this Mini feels quick. I mean, on the drive here, it felt quick. It sounds great. It's probably a bit synthesized, that engine. I think there's some sound coming through the speakers, but it's got a nice tone to it either way. And the balance of this car as well, if I don't dip a wheel on the grass there, Sam, Jesus. The balance of this car, is very neutral, which means you can really press on. It doesn't really want to do anything other than just go around the bends quickly. You can play with the balance though. It's all under your right foot. Essentially, you go in to a bend, and if you want it to rotate, or uh, oh, if you want it to understand, there we got it, we made the corner. Well done, it. Mini actually saved my bacon there. If you want it to rotate, try to break, but quite aggressively, more so than you would need to in the Fiesta. That Fiesta in standard tune before mount tune, but they're lowering springs on it. It just comes around with a lifted throttle, actually. This Mini needs a bit of help to get rotation, but I think that might help with the lap time because it's very stable, and as we know, our track has got some fast-flowing bends, and what you need sometimes is stability. I'm going to put my lid on. Shall we see where this JCW ranks on our leaderboard?
127.37. Obviously, this Mini has not beaten our Fiesta ST Mountain, but who's surprised by that? Absolutely no one. Not only does it have less power, it also lacks two crucial ingredients, and those are very sticky tires. These Pirellis are good tires, but they're not a track tire, and our track's very abrasive. And it doesn't have a limited slip differential, so it meant that putting the power down was getting trickier and trickier as the lap went by. That said, what a fantastic handling machine this is. It doesn't rotate like a Fiesta, but it's very neutral, so you can just really hammer on. All right, I was struggling with a bit of understeer towards the end of the lap, but as I said, that was more to do with the tires and the fact that with no limited slip diff, they were really getting hot. Still an excellent car, great brakes, love the engine in this thing, and the gearbox as well, really, really like it. So while the time isn't anything to really shout about, I think I'm really, really sold on the prospect of a Mini as a track toy. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like it, and of course, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We've got so many more fast laps to set and lots more content in the pipeline. See you soon.